he is in the tavern. And Goost, please don't think ill of me for this letter. It wasn't my... What the hell? Him? I can tell you right now the person you've gone... You've, you've sent me to see about other people is in fact the one that's responsible for this. I mean, I, I would assume so. I've got no proof to this, but he's a dick. So I'm going to assume he's the one responsible. God. Well, gods be damned. You're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Aldar. What in the seven hells do you want with me now? <laughs> yeah, well, oops about that. Dear friend, ugh, missing people, please help. Pick up yours, Eisenbart. How drunk are you? Folk around here are as wary as they come. They'll turn tail and run if you so much as pass wind nearby. Plate them all for fools and coax some hard la labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before, but with all the disappearances. You can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. You really didn't tell me anything useful, sir. We need to go speak with three common folk. No one in this room? Nope. Okay. Oh, common folk. Hungry beggar. Please, miss, just leave me be. Okay, one down. Devious derelict. I have nothing to say but this. Tal take who or whatever's been feeding off on our, off us low oak. And petrified pauper. They really like their alliteration here. It's a little unnecessary. What do you want from me? I don't know anything. I said, please don't kill me. Do I look like I'm going to kill you? These guys seriously have a morale problem. I remind you, there's no brawling in the pub. <laughs> well, it might come to that. Just as I told you, wasn't it? The whole lot of them are terrified. There's been talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and moved onto a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, yes, but I don't actually know what Costa del Sol is myself, so no. <laughs> oh wow, he just walked through me. I don't like that at all. Report to Isambard. I cannot say that without thinking of Isengard. I really wish they'd chosen a different name. Welcome back, Kira. Have you learned aught of import? No, not really. I see. I suppose I should have expected as much from Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the clergy may know something of use. Isn't that a bit... You know, iffy. <laughs> Getting the the like the cl the clerics and the, the priests and whatnot to tell on the other people. I mean, isn't that like a conflict of religion? Like, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, nine and seven. Hmm. <clears throat> Ah, uh, well, they're all that. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. <coughs> so there's that, but then, I, again, I lose out on materia slots. But then again, how much materia am I going to have? Ooh, actually, you got some nice specs. Um, I might take you. I think. One plus two plus two plus two. And that's, oh, you've got twos as well. Oh gosh. Hmm. I guess I'll take that. I guess. If only to use the material. If you would know what the common folk speak of. Sorry, if we, if we would know what the common folk speak of to their gods, we have no better place to ask than the Church of Saint Adama Ladama. What is with these weird names? Limsalaminsa Adama Landama. Like, do they think they're being cute? I don't find it cute. It is a small and humble church found to the northwest of here. And so long as you are headed there, might I ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse? Oh sure, let me just heft a corpse with me. 
and it's embalmed, so it's going to be stiff. I don't really know what you want me to do with that. <laughs> Did, are you giving me a cart to, to cart it in? A more would request, I grant you, but it must be born to burial, and I trust none more than you to see it done. Seek out a man named Marque. Mar it's not Marquis, because Marquis has two S's. Hmm. He tends the graves of the Lichyard. Lichyard? As in like as in lichen? Or lich as in <laughs> lich? I don't know what a lich loud is. He will tell you where the body is to be interred. Okay. So it is that direction. I've just never been there before. Uh, I think it's very quicker. Yeah. Moogle, you're too cute. Stop making cute sounds. And since I haven't really fought anything, I haven't increased my spirit bond with anything, which is a bit disappointing, because that's all I really wanted, so I can wear some different clothes, damn it. Oh dear, what happened here? Um, you guys don't want to talk to me, so I will just leave you to it. You, you seem to have a, a, a blowfly infestation. Hello, sir, whose name I cannot pronounce. I am... Mark, yeah, Marquis, Marku, Thamo. Yes, a body, of course. There, there have been so many bodies of late. I apologize, miss. If you seek a place of burial, then there is an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him to rest there. Do I look like I've got the muscles to do that? All right, top the ridge we go. Assuming this is the correct direction. There's literally just the one gravesite here and it already has a gravestone. It's a little creepy. I'm going to go put the flower into the ground, which represents the embalmed corpse. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm plopping it down and now I'm burying it. I was about to say, what now? I'm just dumping it there? Uh, that didn't look embalmed because... He was flopping all about the place. Uh, I don't think you know that you really need those when you've got a big gravestone right there. They seem to kind of serve the same purpose. Whatever. May they all walk in the tiles realm. What? Missing people? I'm afraid I cannot help you. Because you don't know anything or because you won't help me? Maybe Sister Orsen can. She has been kind to me. Everyone, everyone has been so kind. I'm a little perplexed. Why does he say it like that? Like they've been overly kind to him. There's some reason why he didn't think that they'd be kind to him. Hmm. I don't know why though. I, yeah, so it seems like there's a reason why they shouldn't be kind to him. Pardon me, you'll find Sister Orsen within the church walls. You mean there's actually a church here? Hey, there's actually a church here. I completely ignored it. Oh, it's tiny. But in any case, hi Orsen. I'm so glad you guys enjoy just standing here doing absolutely nothing. I hear you have done us the service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Ice and Bide when you next see him. Question, why did I have to bury the body? Isn't it your job working here at this burial site? To have somebody to do that for us. Imagine people just coming and bringing the, the bodies of their fallen family members. And they're expected to dig the grave themselves. I don't like the service you're providing here. I find it somewhat wanting. Hmm? You seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants? It is true I am closer to the people than any other of the order. I confide in them. And they in me. When they wish to speak to their keeper, Tal, I am the medium through which they do. Should I learn anything pertinent, I'll be sure to share the information with you. <sighs> I only wish Margie would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. While tragic, I fear such behaviour ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Thancred, I believe, took offence at his conduct. I must have words with him and soon. Wow. Thancred took exception to it. Of all people. 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's odd. And we go back to dry bone. Yep. Okay. Well, that was a fascinating vid visit. I'm so glad we came. Yeah, you got to bury your own dead. Welcome. Have fun with that. There really isn't much here at this camp, is there? I think there'd be more homes or structures at the very least. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. A burial is no easy thing. Even when the departed is a stranger, were you able to learn aught of the missing common folk? Negative. You've been keeping yourself ra- Ah, it's Thancred. You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Kira? Oh god, you are uh -huh, having issues with the uh, corporality? <laughs> A pleasure, my dear Isenbud. The name is how do you know his name? The name is Thancred, and I share a passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. Why did you come and help me? You thought I couldn't do it myself? I do spoke with Ungust. More times than I care to count. There seems to be some truth to this notion of the common folk speaking their secrets only to those in service to the gods. Prostration, prayer, penance. Abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares than she who takes confession? The good sister Orison herself. Orison! She wouldn't... She couldn't. I found it a little odd that she didn't tell me anything up front. Like, I'm not wanting her to keep an ear out for any future things that she hears. I was specifically inquiring about things she's already heard, but instead of telling me anything she'd already heard, she was like, I'll be sure to let you know if I hear anything going forth. And I'm like, well, you're avoiding the question. That's not really what I am here for. So I did have my suspicions about the good priestess. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you would be wise to keep an eye to this rose. Still, like keeper, Marquis, I swear to the Twelve, I've seen that face elsewhere before. Oh, you didn't take exception to him in that sense. You're just very... Uh, you were staring at him a lot, I dare say. Oh, I'll take the money, thank you. Do I even have... A chest piece? I've got a headpiece, but do I have a chest piece? I don't. Oh, shit. So when I want to get rid of this, I literally have nothing to change to. Oh, that's a problem. Legs! I don't want legs! Chest! Body! Give me, give me, give me a, a shirt or something. Probes! I don't care, just anything about a cow. This is Orison. It cannot be. Though, she is wanted to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own, and it's not common to see her speaking to the children. But, no. It could not be she, could it? Hmm... I grow weary of these suspicions. I know there is one child in particular that she is fond of. Pray seek out the boy, Kira, and see if you cannot glean something from him about Orson's activities. Which boy am I looking for? He's up there somewhere. I didn't know where exactly. See at the church? He is not at the church. Oh my, he's all the way over there. Just give me a mount already. Like, I'm done with this on foot bullshit. Just give me a goddamn mount. How many hours of this game must I play before I can travel expediently? It's really irritating. Riveting commentary, I know, but I literally have nothing to say. Is there not much happening here? Although, question, I did notice. Uh, say it's a level 28 item. Uh, where is it? Material, material melding, disciple of the hand, level 28. 
So I think it's saying that I need to have my crafting at level 28 to be able to extract materia from that item. So that means that I can't just leave my crafting where it is. I'm going to have to actually spend some time leveling it up to be able to extract it from the stuff, which is kind of sad. Assuming I'm reading that correctly, I, I don't know. It's not exactly like the game has educated me on that particular aspect, so I don't actually know. I'm only extrapolating from the data I had in front of me. Oh good, chocobos, you can take me back to Camp Drybone. Uncombed urchin. Please help, Sister Urson went out all on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here, about Thal and the Order and that other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and she went looking for it. But what if the monsters outside hurt her? Please find her. Okay, this is a little odd. Oh, this is the Golden Bazaar? Alright. Sure. Can I actually go into the Bazaar building? <gasps> I can. What's in here? Absolutely. Oh, I'm just walking into somebody's house? Oh my, that seems a little invasive. Right upstairs. Okay. A room with no door. Where's the bazaar, by the way? It's a bazaar, but I see no actual market. Do you, do you set up your stalls here? Where's the actual bazaar? What's this building? Looks like a council chamber or something, but I don't know what for. Yeah, I don't really see the bizarre part of the Golden Bazaar. And this will just be somebody else's house, will it not? Oh shit, hi. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna leave this, uh... I mean, no, no trouble. Yeah, no, nah, still don't see any bizarre. Is she gonna be over here? Yes, she is. What have you gotten yourself into, lady? Orison? You, you were the one from the church. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. You spoke with the child? Yes, well, I was able to find his lost trinket. It is a ring given to him by his mother before she passed. I will see it safely back to him. Hey! But I have more questions. All right. Back to Camp Drybone. I am, of course, going to get a chocobo. Because it's going to be way quicker than going on foot. Hey, I got a gill per kill. Nice. Chocobo keep. Hi, hiya, a porta to Camp Tribone. Let us go. Except if I were driving myself, it'd be much quicker because I would take the. I'd cut all the corners, shall we say. Oh my, they, they're new. Bye. Have fun!
you. How do I go down this way? <clears throat> I should probably upgrade. Yeah, see, 160 points max is far less than 32% of uh, my HP. I should probably start making some high potions for myself. Not that I use potions, but you know, I'm not gonna eventually get into the situation where I need to, so I should be prepared. Isambard! Sister Orson was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar. God's forfend. Forfend. Didn't even know that was a word. I will secure a room at the inn for her. Should she require any rest, she'll survive. Searching for the mementos of orphans, and risking her own well-being in doing so, no less. Certainly not the dastardly deeds Thanker would have us believe. Just because she's nice to children doesn't mean that she's not responsible for the missing people. But whatever. Uh... Since I already have... Hello? I said... Oh, I said alt, my bad. Control. I already have some good parents at 10 and 20 with materia. So, yeah, no. I am well glad I reserved that in-room for Sister Orison. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she's expected to make a full recovery. But now, onto the matter at hand. Vancred came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amalja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding his disappearances. Mm-hmm. I'll do my best. I make no promises, though. Alright, further away than I thought. That's okay. It's not that far in general. I haven't really got any XP, have I? No. I don't think I've gotten anything for these last few battles. Are we here to look at whatever's going on over there at the Amalja camp? Ah, there you are, Kira. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about sis good sister Orison. Isambard said her wounds were serious. It would see my suspicions about the poor Rose were misplaced. But falser they were, perhaps my suspicions were not entirely without merit. Whilst following sister Orison near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amalja caught my eye. I tracked them as far as his encampment, but... I want to say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. You, you lazy little shit! This of course brings me to why I requested you, dear Kira. Would you be so kind as to take a look inside for- Um, well... Uh, I'm lazier than you are, so yeah, I can't take exception to you just chilling back here while I do the heavy lifting. Search for a clue. Okay, well, this is going to require me to type a lot of shit. me good sir no no I fire what a waste ow clues you say clues okay I found a clue but I also found a hostile dude so <laughs> let's be done with him first I'm not sure why that's procking. It's weird. I don't, I don't have any reasons inside here as to why I keep procking thunder. Is that the clue we required? Well, I hope it was useful clue because I have absolutely no idea what it says. Because I'm never allowed to read these things. Well, thank God. I'm so glad you just stood there and watched. 
How generous of you. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? Okay, doesn't say what it says. This leaflet. See the wealth of knowledge to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. This lettering, though. Atrocious, is it not? And these bits about gnarled thals seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Pray take this to the inn at Camp Drybone. Let us see what Sister Orsan makes of it. And back we go very slowly because we can't bloody use a mount because life sucks. <sighs> So I need a level 20 MSQ, uh, MSQ quest, and Q and MSQ sense of a quest. I need a main story quest that's level 20 to be able to become a black mage. I need a level 20 main story quest to be able to ride a chocobo, or at least have achieved a level 20 main story quest to do a side quest. That gets me that. <sighs> Why does everything hinge on level 20? Just let me do it now. Sorry, wrong room. Yeah, she is. Ooh, Kankarad is already here. My saviour comes again. To what do I owe the honour this day? What is this? Blasphemous! These are not our teachings at all. This was not made by any true brother or sister of the Order. Of that, I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago, the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the Order to deceive the people? The queer leaflet. We don't commonly use the word queer. The plot thickens, Kira. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lay credence to his deception. How has nobody noticed this though? Surely somebody would have noticed, you know, an extra priest running around, or someone would have mentioned another priest running around. There is no doubt an irony in there somewhere. But I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. I shall consider how best to handle this. For now, tell Isambard what we have learned here. Okay. I would go, but you know, I have to just watch you walk off without able, being able to move myself. It's very frustrating. I'm going to continually watch him walk away. Oop, sorry Isambard. Sorry Isambard. Oh, I can't, I can't back out of the conversation. We're just going to have to talk this closely. Posing as a priest to think. These troubling notions aside, it is gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Kira. I shall keep my ears and eyes open, now more than ever. Uh, ooh, shoes. That's alt, I need control. Shoes, I have materia 510. Mine is much better, surprise, surprise. Just step back a bit. Woof, there's a bit of wind behind that. Dressed to deceive. That didn't sound good. Holy hell. I'm afraid I have not seen any unusual activity, nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon, more innocence will fall victim. The fine weather we're having, thought grudge, don't you agree? Don't despair us yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let Kira and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It will be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in a battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and slops should serve your needs, so long as you don't mind the smell on the stains. I do mind the smell on the stains, can we not? This was all very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Kira. So as to lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments Isambard has lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. This sounds boring, but sure, let's go. Speak with locals while garbed in a weathered shepherd's tunic and a pair of weathered shepherd's slots. What's 
What's a slop? Are they shoes? They appear to be pants. Aren't I adorable? Alright, 